Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on the sign rule. A special puzzle to warm up the brain cells is on the next slide. The answer will be given at the end. Enjoy. What is the meaning of the following? Good luck with it and see how you go. I have shown a number of videos that involve calculations using right angle triangles. We have seen how to calculate unknown sides and angles. In this video we will introduce the sine rule. This rule allows us to calculate unknown sides and angles in triangles which do not contain a right angle. The above triangle does not contain a right angle. The convention is to name each angle using a capital letter. So there's angle A with a capital A, angle B with a capital B, and angle C with a capital C. And the side opposite the angle with the corresponding lower case letter. Angle A, lower case side A, angle B with the lower case side B, and angle C with the lowercase side C. The sine rule. Simply stated, the sine rule is as follows. A over sine A equals B over sine B equals C over sine C. It is important to note that we only need to use any two of these equalities at any one time. Now example one will illustrate this we have to find C to three decimal places. Though we have to find that side there. So the sine rule says that B over sine B equals C over sine C. Substituting into that formula we get this line. Cross multiplying we get that line. Divide both sides by sine 35 to get that line. And put this information into your calculator gives us C equals 12.328 centimetres correct to three decimal places. Example 2. Find angle C correct to three decimal places. So we have 8 over sine C equals 7 over sine 37. Cross multiply to get that line. Divide both sides by 7 to get that line. Put this information into our calculator to get sine C equals 0 0.6878. So C is the inverse sine of 0 0.6878. So C is 43.456 degrees correct to three decimal places. Third example, find B, correct to three decimal places. B over sine 34 equals 12 over sine 100. Cross multiply to get that line. Divide both sides by sine 100 to get that line. We notice from previous videos that sine 100 is exactly the same as sine 80 because 100 is in the second quadrant and sine is positive in the second quadrant. Put this information into the calculator and it gives us B equals 6.814 centimetres correct to three decimal places. Here's a quick quiz to help you. Please check through the video at any time. The answer to the puzzle. What is the meaning of the following? Backspace. I think you might have got that one. Here are the answers to the quick quiz and the video is at your disposal. If you found this video useful, please subscribe on the next slide. You'll receive a notification when the next video is available. Please share with your friends. Hope to see you next lesson.